All right, we're back and we're gonna uh, do some checking on some fret dots. Um, as I mentioned earlier, nitrocellulose is something that uh, would react with the environment and it would cause um, cracking in the finish. And uh, the poly finishes that uh, guitar manufacturers use today just, they're too strong and you know, they're just, uh, you know, they just won't check. But, but we can simulate it and get a pretty good uh, feel for it. Um, the way you do it is we're going to do it, you know, a lot of these uh, fret dots are just plastic and so over time they contract and would pull away from the nitrocellulose and just cause the finish to crack a little bit. Now, keep in mind uh, what we said earlier in the intro is a little bit goes a long ways and you really don't want to do this too much. Um, so we're going to do two different techniques. Uh, we're going to do this in two steps. Uh, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and just the finest tip you can find and just as accurately as you can get right on the edge of that fret dot and then you're going to make just a tiny line coming away from it and it's uh, the idea is to be random as you possibly can and you know we'll make these cuts and then we're going to put a f uh, an additive on it that I'll show you in a second that'll bring out those check marks. You can't really see them happening right now. And then when we do uh, the sand of the frets, you'll see uh, kind of what happens. Um, I like to use a really small X-Acto blade. You can get these at any hobby store. And the reason why I like to use these is they'll um, They'll bend really good, so you can do a little bit of curves on them if you need to. Okay, so we got our lines and our grooves made. You probably can't see them on the camera, but they are there and you can feel them. Uh, now it's time to bring them out. And the way we're going to do that is with some good old fashioned Kiwi Brown shoe polish. Um, this is probably the most controversial product used in relicking. A lot of people really love it or they hate it. Um, they use it a lot for ambering necks, um, but what we're going to use it is to kind of bring out that, that checking that we did in the fret dots and then also to do the aging piece of the marks that we made. So a little bit, just like everything else, a little bit goes a long, long, long ways. So I'm going to put a little bit right there and then you just polish it in and it kind of acts you know on this raw wood where we did the wear marks um, it, it sort of acts like a stain that'll stain it and then we'll do some other things here later on to kind of break through that as well but now you can see the check marks are actually starting to stand out and come out so if you look close, you can see how the check marks are coming out at the fret markers. All right, welcome back. There's been a lot going on since the last time we talked. What I've been doing is, well, I'll tell you a little bit about what I found is whenever I started aging and doing the fret wear on the fretboard, I found that what the manufacturer had done is they had taken the bare maple, they had put a very heavy coat of uh, of a clear lacquer and then over the top of that they did a yellow color wash to give it that amber coat and they did a very thick coat of that um, of that clear coat up underneath the paint so I was having a really hard time getting um, after I wore through the paint uh, if I was to go down all the way through the lacquer there would just be too deep of gouges in here so they got it on really really thick in here so what I've been doing is I've been doing a technique of just kind of trying to work some uh, stain in down into that top coat uh, to kind of give it some of that aging discolor from like the dirt and the oil and the grime for your hands. Um, so it, it takes it takes a lot of different coats and a little bit of time um, but it's very subtle but you can get some really nice um, you know a little bit of aging on it. So what I have here is just a generic you know this is just a wood stain it's oil based um, and I got the it's the darkest color that you can probably get this is a deep ebony color um, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you kind of how I've been doing this. 
um, pretty much just, you know, just kind of have one more coat to do here. Um, but what you do is you take a paper towel like this, and you get a little bit of the stain on it, and then you just kind of smear it across the whole fretboard and just get it coated real good. And you don't, don't have to worry about being shy, you can put, put a big, pretty good coat on it. And, um, you know, once you get a good coat on there, then what you do, um, this is, a, you know, just a scrubbing pad. It's probably about the equivalent of a, a thousand grit um, that you can get at the store, hardware store. And once you get it on there, you just take it and just kind of scrub into the frets. And what this is doing is the, the sander is actually breaking, making fine scratches in that top clear coat or in the, the paints on it and a little bit of the stain will work down into those scratches so over you do this enough and you just kind of build up kind of a dark hazy look so you just sit there and work it into all your frets and i use try to use as much of a circular motion as i can um, so that you don't have those straight looking scratches and this stuff is a little bit messy so you will get your hands pretty messy so be prepared to wash your hands when you're done and it looks like we need a little bit more up here on top didn't get quite enough on there so we'll just redo these three right here there we go that's good Looking a lot better. Okay, once you got it kind of scrubbed in, what I do is I just take a little bit more of the stain and just coat it again so that if it for some strange reason happens to run out of stain from that scrubbing, it's got a little bit more on top to help soak it in. And it'll take, you know, six or seven coats to pin, you know to kind of get up a light shade but what should happen is you know over several of them it should simulate that aging and uh, kind of do that relicing piece to make it dirtied up so I'm gonna let it sit for about half an hour to an hour um, to kind of let it soak in a little bit and kind of cure a little and then uh, then we'll scrub it off and clean it off and see if it's just a little bit darker now all right, we've let uh, the stuff dry um, and kind of work in a little bit into that uh, finish a little bit. So now we're just going to clean it off, and uh, it's basically just from you know wiping off that oily residue that's left, kind of like simulated old motor oil, I guess. And you can see it's very subtle, but it is, it has left kind of a little bit of a darker tint to it. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's, it's definitely there. So I'm going to clean off the rest of it.